15 bad habits to break for a better 2020 for PT. 1. We all have bad habits that can be hard to break. From eating junk food late at night to spending too much time on our phones. But here's the thing if we want lasting success in any area of our lives, those bad habits must go. From unnecessary stress eating to watching just one more show before bedtime we know who you are. These 21st century no-nos are sure to make it onto your hit list this year. So let's break out the R resolve for commitment and get ready for some seriously good change. Why are these common habits considered bad? If a habit suits your lifestyle and you enjoy it, can it really be bad? Ultimately, you are the only one who can answer that question for yourself. For the sake of this bad habits list, we are viewing these as negative repetitive behaviors that get in the way of your overall enjoyment of life. They include bad habits that adversely affect health, employment, and relationships, and break laws. Then there are those that are bad habits that are socially frowned upon because they fly in the face of established customs or simply just annoy people. Finally, we include some bad habits that keep you from evolving into a better version of yourself. So let's jump into the list of bad habits. Bad habits affecting health. Many of us are guilty of having common bad habits that slowly affect our health over time. From smoking to forgetting to floss, our bad habit list can quickly become extensive. With so many good habits we can use to replace these bad ones available. Why don't we start improving the quality of our lives by nixing some of these common and sometimes silly bad habits? Hash 1. Quit smoking. Quitting smoking is the top of the bad habit list because it should be. It is dangerous in the long term as well as being costly. Every smoker I know wishes they never started. So put that last cigarette out and you'll be thanking yourself for long-term consequences. Your life depends on it with serious long-term health effects like oral cancer, gum infections, and bad breath. From inhaling nicotine, it isn't worth a few seconds of pleasure in the long run. When it comes to breaking bad habits, quitting smoking is one of the tougher wins. But don't worry, there are ways to help your journey. I remember when my friend quit cold turkey true determination and a changed lifestyle allowed him to keep himself away from cigarettes for over 12 years. If you're looking for additional support, the CDC suggests nicotine patches or e-cigarettes, whatever works best for you. With respiratory cancers already claiming thousands of lives each year, don't let yours become part of that tally. Quit smoking now. Number E, break the vaping addiction. With vaping, your bad habit can help you out a bit while you're technically still doing something bad. It's much better than puffing away on cigarettes full-time. It is a recommended alternative to smoking by the CDC. But that doesn't mean it is healthy or without drawbacks. Studies are increasingly showing more negatives from vaping and e-cigs. Why expose yourself to all of those harmful elements when you could just quit vaping altogether instead? Take a step in the right direction and break away from the bad habit of vaping. Replacing vaping with something else healthy like taking walks outside or meditating can help distract and keep your mind off it. Doing something calming when the cravings hit can be helpful in decreasing the urge to grab a vape. So try it out. Hash 3. Not brushing your teeth daily. A person's other bad habits say a lot about them, too but poor oral hygiene may be the most glaring sign. If you're not brushing your pearly whites at least twice daily and flossing, you are putting your health on the line. By not cleaning and rinsing your mouth regularly with mouthwash, you are at risk of developing cavities, gum disease, gingivitis, and other illnesses. Not only that, but your dating luck may suffer too. No one likes bad breath. Besides creating an unattractive first impression, a lack of proper oral hygiene has been linked to other diseases like diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. Don't let other bad habits or convenience get in the way of something as important as taking care of your teeth that only takes two minutes. Number F, unhealthy eating. Let's face it, eating unhealthy is more than just a bad habit, it's more like an addiction. Whether it's skipping breakfast, 
Eating fast food more often than more nourishing meals. Eating too much red meat or indulging in lots of sugar and junk food. More of us than we care to disclose are guilty of such bad habits. But here's the thing these habits can lead to high cholesterol, high blood pressure, diabetes and heart disease. So if you're ready to rewire your brain for healthy eating habits, start by removing anything that triggers cravings for fast food and replace sugary drinks with water instead. No more being lazy, it's time to make healthier food choices and move away from those bad habits and eat healthier. Number E, alcohol abuse. For many people, the occasional beer is no problem. But for others, too much alcohol can be a bad habit you need to break. ASAP. Although small quantities of alcohol can be beneficial, too much of a good thing or an evil thing, depending on your mode of thinking is never a great idea. Not only do you risk losing your health, but if you're like me, and there's no shortage of activities to enjoy that don't require money being thrown down the drain with every round of drinks, you could save enough money by drinking in moderation or not at all to enjoy some fun hobbies. If you think you might be drinking too much, I strongly encourage you to try to quit for a while, try something like a dry January. If this is an impossible task for you, you may have a problem and really need to break this bad habit forever. Number E, emotional eating. Another common bad habit to break is stress eating. Research shows that emotional eating stems from stress, grief, loneliness, and anxiety. If unchecked, it can lead to overeating, weight gain, guilt, and lowered self-esteem. Let's break this bad habit before it becomes a full-blown eating disorder by paying attention to what triggers our cravings and then distracting ourselves with more constructive activities. And who knows, a walk in the park or a chat with a friend may just be what we need to break out of our rut. Hash 7. Not getting enough sleep. Trying to pull all-nighters might be trendy and, in theory, make you look pleasantly busy. But research suggests late sleeping is one of the most common bad habits. It's understandable that we spend hours late nights staring at a computer screen, playing on your cell phone, or watching late night TV shows. But it's time to take off your late night glasses and get some rest. Go to bed early and give yourself the recommended 6 to 9 hours of sleep for adults. Not only will you feel energized and refreshed in the morning and able to tackle your day, with a healthy spirit. Hash 8. Skipping lunch breaks. How does it benefit you to skip lunch? Generally, employers don't pay you to take a lunch break. Even if that were the case, the habit of skipping your meal time can eventually affect your health. Perhaps you're seeking admiration or promotion and think you need to impress your boss with workaholic tactics. Always remember that you are not indispensable Eating your meals on time is a show of self-care. Taking breaks also allows you to move away from the stressful work environment to reset and return energized and focused. Number E, not exercising or staying active. Most adults have the same bad habits. Staying up too late, eating unhealthy food, and let's not forget everyone's favorite skipping exercise. Of course, it's one of the most common bad habits to be lazy about and can quickly become a slippery slope if you're not careful. Fortunately, it is never too late to start creating good habits. If you want to make sure you stay active and healthy, cut yourself some slack and don't try to. Do massive blocks of exercise at once, break it down into small chunks of time here and there. It will all add up, socially frown upon bad habits. Next up on our list of bad habits are the ones that are frowned upon by society. These habits are excessively bad for your health, although some are mildly bad, but they may make you socially outcast. Probably one of the universal ones is poor posture. Sitting slumped or slouched at the table isn't viewed as being polite or professional, and at best might get you a gentle reminder from your parents or friends to sit up straight. At worst, it could be seen as a sign that you're uninterested in whatever is going on around you. Other socially unacceptable habits include leaving the toilet seat up, not making eye contact, nose picking, nail biting and spreading rumors such as 
gossiping and sharing other people's secrets without permission. Whether they're silly or serious, these habits can all make us look uncouth and unlikable to others. So, unless you intend on alienating yourself from society, it might be wise to keep them in check. Let's look at a handful in detail. 10. Chewing gum I read an online article that dubbed gum chewing as a vile habit that enrages people who despise hearing the sound of people eating. This attitude may be a bit much, but habitually chewing gum for whatever reason isn't the best practice. There are really no plausible health benefits of chewing gum. You're more likely to experience frequent cheek bites, sore jaw muscles, cavities, and temporomandibular joint disorder TMJ. If gum chewing is how you freshen your breath, consider powering up your oral hygiene routine and seeing your dentist regularly. Drink water instead if you're on a diet and trying to avoid overeating. Good habits like drinking water are the perfect way to replace bad habits. Hash 11. Picking your nose in public. Picking away at your nostrils in public or not isn't attractive at all. There's a broad assumption that you're picking boogers. What else could it be? Let's not talk about the eating part. Even if it's nose hair, there's something about the habit that absolutely grosses people out. Not only is it a dirty habit, but it's also not healthy and yet so many adults still do it. Regularly, they hypocritically scold their children for doing so, yet when they don't think anyone is looking, the mining begins. Whether you care what people think or not, it's really not good for you. Sticking your fingers up your nasal cavity to clear out dry mucus pushes bacteria into your nostrils. This increases your risk of spreading flu viruses, nosebleeds, sores, and septum damage, among other things making this one habit you need to kick to the curb today. Hash 12. Biting down on hard objects. Biting your nails, pens, pencils, or ice is a bad habit that is discouraged by dentists. You may not have realized the habit until now, since many people do it without thinking. The practice is often done to relieve stress or anxiety. But some people nibble the back of a pen or pencil while brainstorming for ideas. Developing self-awareness and finding healthy ways to manage stress are helpful strategies to combat this tendency. What's more, is that you may avoid damaging your teeth and avoid spending too much money on dental restoration. Hash 13. Showing up late. This is a personal pet peeve of mine. I go to great lengths to be on time and find it very rude when people are late. But it's not just me. I can't think of a boss or anyone else who enjoys it when people show up late. Why is that so? Friends and loved ones might think it's rude for you to frequently show up late. Especially if you fail to give them a heads up emergencies and other incidents to occur. But being late most of the time is a habit and you need to break this year. Bad habits keeping you from being your best self. Smoking tobacco or biting your nails are easy to see as a bad habits. But habits that simply keep you from being your best may be overlooked as bad habits. Maybe you are content with your lot in life. Maybe you have all you desire and do not want to put in the effort of self-improvement. If so, there is nothing wrong with that. But for people who want more out of life, more success, happiness, better family life, etc., the bad habits in this section are essential to transform into good habits. Number key, procrastination. Most of us delay tasks. According to Harvard Business Review, you might do this to avoid unpleasant or difficult tasks. Perhaps you're thinking you should delay them and do the more pleasant tasks first. Eventually, those tasks never get done or are completed late. Procrastination slows down production and can result in loss of financial deals and missed opportunities. Counteract the habit by creating a system to get uncomfortable tasks out of the way ASAP, right after very pressing matters. Think of it as a delayed gratification strategy. Hash 15 perfectionism. If you can't do it right, you're not doing it at all. The all-or-nothing attitude is a reflection of perfectionism. No one and nothing is perfect. Fear of failure, fear of criticism, 
and competitiveness are among the reasons why some people become so-called perfectionists. Like procrastination, wanting things to be flawless all the time can lead to a drop in performance and productivity. It can also lead to negative self-talk which can harm your mental health. Perfectionists may never get achieved and you end up feeling like a total failure. To break this bad habit, set achievable goals, avoid procrastination, and reassure yourself that it's okay to make mistakes.